Our session was um, risky behaviors online and safety. And people talked about, um, in particular, they seem to be um, very interested in um, behaviors like bullying, cyberbullying, um, other risky behaviors um, that they would not necessarily do in real life, but tend to engage in online. So there were a lot of questions about why those happen, what do we know about them from the research, um, and what's sort of promoting the kinds of behaviors. I think that one of the interesting points that came out of the conversation had to do around risk and harm and the difference between risk and harm. So there are certain behaviors that kids do that are risky that adults don't like and, and think about as a big problem. Um, but we really then wanted to look deeper into uh, where's, but what's the real harm that's happening to kids and really looking at the data for that, not um, sort of the hype or the, the media. Um, uh, you know, uh, coverage of those kinds of events. Um, and then the second um, thing that I think was interesting that emerged from our session was really getting back to the importance of um, some kind of basic skills that don't have anything to do specifically with kids' um, behaviors online, but have to do with uh, youth and even adult behaviors um, around self-regulation and emotional intelligence and empathy. In terms of next steps, I did ask people at the onset about um, you know, having one of the goals being that they listen to the conversations carefully, that they participate, but then they look for two people that were in the session and there were maybe 20 people or so, in the, or 25 maybe, um, to, to really follow up with afterwards. So I'm hoping that, um, you know, the conversations went right up until the time limit and really a little bit beyond. So I am hoping that people had an opportunity to hear what um, some of their colleagues are doing. Um, there were some interesting projects that were um, discussed from Facebook. There were some um, smaller scale projects being done in Chile, in um, South Africa and in Brazil that I hope um, that that maybe struck a chord for some people and they thought, oh, I'd like to know more about that or that's something that I'm working on in my country that I'd like to follow up with.